We often say that the difference between a democracy and an authoritarian regime lies in the capacity to choose. Choose our government, choose where we want to live, choose our religion, or to choose not to have a religion. And choices are everywhere. Even the smallest things we can choose. The size of our coffee, uh, the brand and make of the car we want to drive, or uh, cell phones. You know, Android or iPhone, which provider. We always have the, those choices in front of us. And some are, let's call it good choices, that brings benefits, that improve our quality of life. And others are bad choices that brings more problem, and more hardship, more difficulties. And we have those choices and we have to decide between the good choices and the bad choices. The end of the book of Deuteronomy offer us what it's called often the big farewell discourse of Moses to his people. After reminding them everything they went through in the wilderness during all those years, Moses says to them, now it's time to enter into the promised land. And this action will bring a big change for you. You will have to find a new way of life. All those years in the wilderness, you were nomadic people, and now it's going to change. Uh, so you will have new lifestyle. Uh, you will be in sort of a new people. And Moses tell them, and you have to choose now. Choose to be people of life or people of death. And there's two options in front of the people. We might say, well, that's not very fair of Moses. You know, maybe we would like, I don't know, or no, Einstein said, well, maybe if we can try one option for two weeks and another option for two weeks and then decide. And no, that was not the case. Uh, a little to paraphrase uh, Yoda is do or do not. There is no try. People have to choose one way or another. They have to choose life or death. And as we as we hear this, uh, of course, we want to be the people to choose life. It's almost a given. The thing is, it's not what I would call a passive choice. To choose life implies of doing something. It's not just sitting in our chair and enjoying our choice. No. Series of decisions, series of action that could be des described as choosing a lifestyle. Christian knows those uh, disciples of Jesus knows what this choice imply. Giving to the poor, uh, to fight for justice, to care for the earthing, to create a better world for all. And let's be honest, it's not always easy. <laughs> no, it's not always easy. I will give you that. We all know that. But we receive the promise that one, God will always be there. And two, by choosing life, somehow we will not feel uh, stuck with that choice or, or restricted. This choice and the action and the behavior, somehow we, we will enjoy it. And all those things, when looking at it, it is what that gives us life and give us, that gives life to the community. And furthermore, another great news of this is that if we fail, if we miss the mark, we can try again. This choice between life and death is not like one in a lifetime or one in a generation. No, this choice is always offered to us. We can always decide at every moment of our lives, of our existence, to choose life. So this is why we can say we're called to choose life. We're called to follow God's way. We're called to make this great decision for ourselves and also for all of those around us. That's all for today. 
Thank you very much once again for watching. I remain Stéphane Vermette, the Lectionary Man, and until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.